recently, I posted this video onto my YouTube channel. It was entitled, These are the best weapons in the final season 4. And this was just a very simple, straightforward tier list where I thoroughly explain why I think each of the weapons currently in the game should be in certain places within the tier list. Okay, that was the video. It was very simple. It was very straightforward. Or so I thought. Okay. It was controversial. The comments didn't like it very much. And in this video, I thought it would be a good idea to go through a couple of comments that basically just claim that I am incorrect about certain things and that I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to reply to those comments and I'm going to be like, well, no, actually, I am right. And I do, not, I do know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. So that's going to be this video. And there are a good few comments that got a lot of likes that were telling me I didn't know what I was talking about. So I just kind of wanted to make this video for that reason. And also, this is also just going to be a like regular replying to comments video. So it's going to be like a, a two in one, a little bit kind of informational and a little bit just me replying to comments. So that's going to be the whole idea of this. First one, this has 86 likes. This person says the pike being at B is wild. Okay? They, they say that putting the pike in B tier is wild. Okay? They don't like that I put the pike in B tier. But here's the thing. I didn't put the pike in B tier. I put the pike in A tier. This is the pike. This is A tier. The pike is in A tier. Okay? This is at the end of the video. I don't, I don't change where the pike goes at the end of the video. The pike is in A tier. Now I know why this person says that it's wild to put the pike in B tier. They say it's wild to put the pike in B tier because at the start of the video, I put the pike in B tier. Okay? So one or two thing one one of two things have happened here. The first option is this person saw that I put the pike in B, they didn't like that, they disagreed with it, and then they were like, hey, this person doesn't know what they're talking about. I'm gonna write an angry comment about this, and then I'm gonna go watch something else. So they either did that. Or, which is, which would be what I think to be a little bit weirder if they did this, or they did, they, 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 they knew that I left the pike in A, but they're getting the, they're getting hung up on the fact that I originally put it in B. And they're just still commenting about how I originally put it in B, which would be very strange. So either they watched up to the point where I put it in B, maybe they watched a little bit more and then they clicked off the video, but they... They wrote a comment about it first, or maybe they know that I left it in A, and they're just still making a comment being like, oh, I can't believe you originally put this in B for like five minutes. Um, so it's one of those two things, right? Well, it's most likely one or one or one of those two things. Um and like I didn't put the pike in B. The pike isn't in B. So if it's thing number one, if they think that you know, I left the pike in B, I didn't, I left the pike in A, so that's that point done. And if it's the second thing where they know I left the pike at A at the end, but they're like, oh, I can't believe you originally put it in B, I'm sorry for changing my opinion on something, I guess. I, I apologize for changing my opinion on something halfway through and then putting it and then trying to and then trying to better my own opinion. I apologize for, you know, realizing that I might be a wrong about this thing and then trying to better my own placement of my own tier list in the latter half of the video. If that annoys you, if that upsets you, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I apologize for changing my mind and changing my decision and switching my thought process up. Okay, there's not really a whole lot else I can say for that. I didn't leave the pike at B tier, and if you you know, want to keep being angry about the fact that I originally put it in B tier, you can get hung up on that for as long as you want, but I left the pike in A tier. So yes, I did put the pike in B tier, but I also put the pike in A tier, and I left the pike at A tier. So I think it's very, very obvious that I think that the pike should be in A tier, because that's where it is when the video ends, right? And I, I just like that this has 86 likes. It means this person and another 86 people, like... For a tier this video, they just didn't click at the end, and they're like, oh, look, it's the pike in A. So, like, 86 of them watched the first five minutes, saw the pike was in B, they're like, oh, I don't like that, I'll go watch something else, but first I'm going to upvote this comment. Right? 
Or, which the other, the weirder thing is that they skip to the end of the video. They're like, oh, the pike's an A, but I don't like the fact that he originally put it in B, which is also super weird. So, I've probably talked enough about that comment now, and I don't want to dwell on each comment for too long, because otherwise it would be a very long video. I've actually tried recording this, I think, three or four times, and each time it was like over an hour, so I don't want to uh, spend too much time on that. But that one, that's that one done. It's just uh, really weird. So now we're going to go on to the next one. Right, so for mass is A, low S in my opinion, Pike is definitely S, so much range, one headshot takes the time to kill out the window. Um, so this has 40 likes, the part we're going to focus on here is Pike is definitely S. Um, and then we're also going to look at a similar thing, this person says Pike is S 100%%%%, and this is 12 likes. So a lot of people are agreeing with the fact that the Pike should be an S tier. Now, here's why the Pike shouldn't be an S tier. What... S tier weapons have we had in the past in the finals? For anyone that doesn't know, in the finals in the past, the FCAR used to be F tier, S tier. It used to be a very, very, very good weapon that would like out time to kill pretty much any other weapon that you used against it. Like it would out TTK the AKM. I think it would even out TTK the Model 1887 as well. It was very, very, very strong. And that would have been an S tier back before it was nerfed. Something that also would have been an S tier that was even stronger than the pre-nerf FCAR was the pre-nerf SA-1216. This thing was absolutely insane, and it would out time to kill anything else in the heavies loadout. If you weren't using the SA-1216, you were throwing the game if you were playing ranked. That's how good the SA-1216 used to be. And what I would take an S tier weapon to be is something that gives you an automatic significant advantage when you're using it. Okay? So... The pike doesn't do that. The pike doesn't give you an automatic significant advantage when you're using it. It's not an absolutely insane weapon. It's not a weapon where if you're using it nine times out of ten, you're going to beat someone using an AKM. That's not how the weapon works because it's hard to use. It's a weapon that's very hard to use. It's semi-auto. That's always more difficult than just clicking your mouse once and holding it down. It's always more difficult to click your mouse lots and lots and lots of times while also trying to, you know, keep the reticle on someone's face, while also trying to negate the recoil climb and the vertical recoil. That's all very, very difficult to do. With the AKM, you point and shoot, right? It really is a much, much, much simpler weapon and a much easier weapon and a much more forgiving weapon, okay? So that's why the Pike isn't an S tier. The Pike isn't an S tier because it's simply not as good as any of the other S tier weapons we've had in the past. It's not as good as the SA-1216. It's not as good as the FCAR. It's not a weapon where if you don't have it on, you're throwing the game. And it's not a weapon where if you have it on, nine times out of 10, you're going to beat the AKM. Nine times out of 10, you're going to beat the Model 1887. That's just not true. Up close, the Model 1887 is going to destroy you if you're using the Pike. It's going to delete you. Bye-bye, medium. You're dead now, because I shot you twice with a Model 1887 at close range. You're dead. You can't shoot me with your pike anymore, right? So it's not S tier, because it's not that strong. It's good, it's decent, it's solid, it's fine, It's it can shoot, it can kill things. If you like it, that's great, good for you, but it's not S tier. It's just not. Because historically, things that have been in S tier were very, 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 very strong, and they absolutely needed nerfs, and that's why things aren't in S tier anymore. It's just not an S tier weapon. And I know a lot of people probably didn't play the game back when the SCR was super strong. I know a lot of people probably didn't play the game when the SA-1216 was super strong. But that's fine. But it's just a bit weird to be saying, oh, the pike is, you know, absolutely broken. It's just not. That's just not true. And just to quickly give another example of an S tier thing, the stun gun absolutely would have been an S tier before as well. The stun gun used to slow your sensitivity while disabling all gadgets and specializations. That's how strong the stun gun used to be. Okay, so it's not, the pike isn't in S tier. I don't know how much more I can prove that point, but the pike is not worthy of being in S tier. It's just not that good. It's good, you can get kills with it, it's definitely solid, but it's very hard to use for most people, for me, for myself included, unless you've got like super duper mega insane aim, which most people don't have. Most people are like average players, right? That's what the word average means. Most people are average players, so most people don't can't hit headshots with every single shot they shoot ever. So it's it's hard to use. It's much easier to get a kill with the AKM than it is to get a kill with the pike for most people, right? And that's what this tier list is for. This tier list is for most people. It's not for the top 500 players, because that would make... Look, it's got 7.9 thousand views, right? Right now, anyway, at the time of me making this video. 
So, if I were making this video for the top 500 people, an, an extra, you know, 7.4 thousand people would be watching it for no reason. Obviously, this, vi this video is tailored towards the 7.4 thousand people that are, you know, average players, maybe slightly below, maybe slightly above, and it's not tailored for the people that already know all of the time to kills for all of the guns that can always hit headshots every single time with whatever weapon they want, okay? So when I say it's a hard weapon to use, I mean for the average person watching this video, it's probably going to be easier for you to use the AKM than it is for you to use the pike. And I would have gone over this in this video. I would have said in the tier list that, oh, I think the pike is pretty hard to use for most people, so I'm going to put it in A. I would have said something like that. I would have said something like that for all of the weapons. So I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, the pike isn't in S tier. I've probably driven that home a good bit now, so now we're going to look for the next comment. Right, we're gonna go with this one. This is the first comment. My guy consistently dropping the worst takes. Still love your channel, but I do disagree with a lot of, with your opinions on game balance and stuff. Okay, so I'm dropping the worst takes. That's great. That doesn't give me anything to work with because you don't say what I you don't say what part you disagree with. Still love your channel. Okay, cool. But I do disagree with a lot your with I do disagree a lot with your opinions on game balance and stuff. Why don't you tell me what you disagree with? If you tell me what you disagree with, it gives me something to reply to. If you... If you're just like, oh, I don't like you, I'm gonna be like, okay, cool. And I'm gonna move on to the next comment. But if you're like, oh, I, I actually disagree with this thing right here, and here's why, then I can be like, oh, well, that's an interesting thought. Maybe I should, you know, do some more research into this, and maybe I should have put this higher up on the tier list. And actually... Let's go on to another comment, and let's show the example of that. So this person says, I think the SCAR is 100 times better than the AKM, and I don't mean that based on opinion. I think factually, it is. Faster time to kill on light and heavy at all ranges, easier recoil pattern, less visual recoil, tighter hip fire, and a faster reload time. I struggle to see in what metric the AK beats the SCAR besides ammo capacity. I don't want to be that guy, as it's just cringe, but in general, this entire list just screams skill issue problem. So, this person tells me that they think that I'm wrong about the FCAR being uh, below the AKM. I put the AKM in A and I put the FCAR in B. So they say that, you know, they don't like the FCAR being in B because they think that the FCAR is better than the AKM. So they say that I'm wrong, or they say that they think I'm wrong, and then they say why they think I'm wrong. And this is super helpful. Because when I look at this comment, I can go and look at the FCAR time to kills, I can go look at the AKM time to kills, I can compare them, and I can see, you know, I can, I can look at each of the weapons, I can rethink my thought process, I can rethink if I really should have put the FCAR in B, I can think about all of that kind of stuff, and maybe I was wrong, maybe I can learn from this comment, and maybe I can be like, oh, well actually, you know, I was wrong about this, I was misinformed about this, I didn't realize that, you know, this had faster time to kills on the light and the heavy, I always thought, I thought that the AKM always killed faster than it. So I can say all that kind of stuff, and I can reply to it. But when it's a comment like this, I can't reply to this. I'm not gonna write a whole comment that contains all of the contents of this 37 minute long video that just copy and pastes the tier list again, and then ask them, oh, well, what do you disagree with? Because there's nothing to reply. I guess I could ask them what they disagree with, but I mean, you know, I'm not going to care so much about a lot of the op opinions in the YouTube comment section, because a lot of the opinions in the YouTube comment section are just wrong, which is the point of this video. I'll care about a lot of them, like this FCAR person's post. This is a great comment, because they tell me they think I'm wrong, and then they explain why they think I'm wrong, and... I, I think that I was actually wrong. I think at some point in some of my videos, I've historically said in the past that the FCAR had a faster kill, a faster um, time to kill than the AKM. And there's a chance I was wrong about that. I actually don't know because I actually haven't checked yet. But the last time I saw the FCAR and AKM time to kills, I saw that the AKM killed faster than it at uh, everything except for one instance where the FCAR killed 0.01 seconds faster. I remember seeing that. But maybe the FCAR got like a shadow buff that I didn't hear about, or maybe it just got a normal buff that I, you know, just didn't see, and maybe now the FCAR kills a little bit faster. So I might actually be wrong about some of the stuff I say in this video. So this is a great comment because I can reply to it, but this comment only has four likes, which is 84 fewer likes than the person saying that the pike being at B is wild, even though I didn't leave the pike at B, right? So 
the comments that have more likes aren't always the correct comments, you know? Because this one only has four, and this is mostly correct, I would say. And this one only, this one has 86, and this is entirely wrong, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, moving on, I don't want to spend too much on each comment. Um, so now we're going to look for another one to reply to, if there is another one. Um, oh yeah, here's one. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but lots of poor takes here. Putting the pike in B is crazing. I didn't put the pike in B. And claiming the deagles are hard to aim is comical. I mean, that's just not true. We're going to see that in a second. Up close, the deagles are point and left click as fast as possible. That's not true. You're going to see that in a second. You can hit shots halfway across the map with ease. That's not true. You're going to see that in a second. Almost zero skill involved. And that's not true. You're going to see that in a second. The pike is just broken. Very good at every range. You only really need to pace your shots at range. For mass is also on par with the AK. People just don't like burst weapons. Uh, the pike is just broken. Very good at every range. Yeah, that's great. I didn't put the pike in B. I put it in A. You only really need to, you only really need to pace your shots at range. Uh, I mean, sure, I put the pike in A, though. For mass is also on par with the AK. People just don't like burst weapons. Yeah, I would have said that in the video. I mean, maybe I didn't, but I'm fairly confident that during the tier list video, I would have said something very, very similar to, oh, I'm going to put the FAMAS at B because for most people it's much harder to use than the AKM is to use because semi-auto weapons are much harder to control than it is to point and click with the AKM because it just is. So I would have said that in the video, I'm pretty sure. But now we're going to talk about these points a little bit. We're going to talk about, actually, you know, you know, you know, you know what? In, in the other times I recorded this video, I went into the practice range and I showed it. I'm not going to show it this time because... I don't want to spend too long on it. Um, so we're just going to reply to it here. Putting the pike in B is... Uh, no, it's not that. Up close, the deagles are point and left click as fast as possible. Right. If you're at 10 meters away from someone, which I would consider to be a pretty close range, if you go into the practice range right now, if you center your reticle on someone that's 10 meters away and you unload a full mag into them, you're going to hit like half of those shots. Maybe you'll hit like... Oh, no, sorry. You're going to... You're gonna, miss about two or three shots. So if you go into the practice range, if you go 10 meters away, and if you aim at the, the two lights that are on top of the box on the left-hand side of the practice range, and if you unload uh, as many bullets as you possibly can into those lights, you're going to miss like two or three shots, most likely, each time you kill one. So, you know, maybe it takes like two or three shots to kill, I can't quite remember, but you're probably going to miss two or three as well. And that's because the deagles have bloom on them. And what bloom means is you have the reticle, um, and then the bullets go anywhere inside the reticle, right? So they don't always go towards the exact center of the screen. They go close to it, but sometimes they deviate from that a little bit. They, they go within the crosshair, but not always directly central. That's what bloom means. That's what spread means. It's basically the same as the KS-23. That's also got spread and bloom on it. So it's literally just an inaccurate weapon. It's not a fully accurate weapon. It is by nature, because it has bloom and spread, not a fully accurate weapon. Okay, so saying that it's just point and left click as fast as possible at the close range is just not true. Because if you point and left click as fast as possible, you're going to start getting a lot of climb, and your crosshair is also going to be pretty hard to, to, to manage. Because when you shoot, your crosshair gets bigger. Um, at least I think it does. I actually can't remember. I'm pretty sure it does in the finals, though. But either way, let's just ignore that point, because I actually can't remember, and I don't want to comment something. I don't want to say something that isn't true, so um, I'm not sure about that. But up close, the deagles are pointing left click as fast as possible. If you mean the point-blank ranges, sure. If you mean from 10 meters away, which I would also definitely consider to be close ranges, you can point, you can point and left click as fast as you want, but there's a very good chance you're going to miss a couple of shots because it's got bloom and spread on it. And 10 meters away is still a pretty close range, but you're going to miss some of those shots. Some of the time. Because it has bloom and spread. Alright, so... I don't know what else to say to that. It's just literally not a fully accurate weapon, so... Unless someone's really, really point-blank range, absolute point-blank, then you're going to miss some shots if you're hip-firing as fast as you possibly can. And also... When I said that they have bloom and spread on them and sometimes you miss a few shots, you sometimes miss a few shots when the reticle is directly on their body, okay? And if someone's moving around and sprinting, which they aren't in the practice range, it's significantly more difficult to get your reticle directly in the center of their body, especially with something that has such a fast fire rate like the deagles do. So it's 
significantly harder than it is to do in the practice range. And in the practice range, it's not easy to hit every single shot. It's actually impossible to hit every single shot at a 10 meter range when hip firing while moving because they have bloom and spread. There's literally nothing you can do about the bloom and spread to make it go more towards the central dot. So it's, it's just an inaccurate weapon. And this part of the comment is just incorrect. Now we're going to go on to the next part. You can shoot, you can shoot, you can hit shots halfway across the map with ease. No, you can't because the weapon at the longer ranges still has bloom and spread, so it's exactly the same. Almost zero skill involved. The, I mean, this is just a really silly thing to say. Um, the deagles take a lot of skill. You have to be managing the very, very fast fire rate, which can sometimes um, kind of override your brain. Sometimes you want to be shooting as fast as you possibly can to be getting that high time to kill. But once, what ends up happening is you miss like your whole mag, then you're reloading, and then someone just takes you out with an AKM. Um, the deagles require a lot of skill to be able to make worthwhile. Um, they're, they're very hard to use effectively, because unless you're hitting like every single shot, you should just be using a different weapon, because it's much easier to hit a lot of your shots with a, with a different weapon. The deagles are pretty unforgiving. The deagles have, you have to have a lot of skill to use the deagles, because they're very unforgiving, because, you know, they, they don't have much mag size, and they have a reload time on them, right? So if you dump a whole mag into someone and you only hit one shot, you should just be using the flamethrower instead because that's significantly easier to aim and it's still very good. So saying almost zero skill involved in a weapon that is literally by nature inaccurate at both 10 meter close ranges and like 100 meter long ranges is just a silly thing to say. Um, and then they talk about the pike again, but I'm ignoring that because I didn't put the pike in B. So we're not going to pay attention to that. Right, this person says, First, I want to say that I usually really enjoy your content, but this has to be one of the worst the finals tier lists. Explain how the bow was initially higher than the pike. And remember, there are more than A and B tier. So, the bow was initially higher than the pike, because I guess I didn't fully think through where I was putting the pike, which is why the pike at the end of the video is an A tier. I don't know why people are hung up about me initially putting the pike in B tier when I change it halfway through the video. And then at the end of the video, it's still an A. I put the pike in A. Okay? You, you gotta move on from this. I didn't leave it in B. I left it in A. It's an A-tier weapon. Okay? M move on from it. And remember, there are more in, there are more than A and B tier. Right. So, I think someone else... Uh, I'm not finding the comment right now. But I think someone else said something like, um, you know, if there's not something in the S tier, and if there's not something in the D tier then it's a bad tier list. That is a comment somewhere. If you look through, you'll see it. I just can't find it right now. Um, because last time, when I recorded this video before, it was like here somewhere. Um, but I can't see it anymore. So I think it got like overwritten by some of the new comments that came in. Um, but anyway, so someone said, if there's no S tier or if there's no D tier, it's not a tier list. And someone, and that person that I just showed um, said something like, remember, there's more than A or B tier. Everything, I've, I've put everything in A and B tier because we have a very, very balanced game right now. If you go into ranked, and if you're playing in like gold or platinum or silver, you're going to be seeing the AKM, you're going to be seeing the Model 87, you're going to be seeing the CL40 for the medium. And as you can see from the tier list, they're all in A. You'll actually even be seeing the FCAR and the FAMAS, um, and you probably won't be seeing much of the revolver either, but you're also going to be seeing the pike, which is in A. Um, so... It's just, it's a balanced game. It's not my fault that the game is in a good spot right now and that there's lots of options to choose from and that it's balanced. That's not, that's not on me. If you have a problem with the game being balanced and with, and where nothing is absolutely broken and where nothing absolutely sucks, you can go and take that up with Embark, but that's not my fault, okay? I, for one, am glad that we don't have something like the SA-1216 where you can just straight up 1v3 people and come out of the fight at like half health because of your dome shield and your RPG. Okay, I like that that's not a thing anymore. And I like that people can't stun you and, you know, half your sensitivity and then just take you out with one shot from the SH-1900, which is how that used to be as well. I like that the game is in a pretty balanced spot right now. I like that if I want to switch from the AKM to the Pike, or if I want to switch from the Pike to the Model 1887, or I want to switch from the Model 1887 to the CL40, I like that all of those weapons are viable, and I think that that's a good thing. 
All right, so that's why nothing's in D and nothing's in S, because I don't think we have anything right now that is absolutely overpowered and absolutely needs a nerf, or anything that absolutely sucks and that's absolutely awful and that absolutely needs a buff. So, I mean, would you be happy if I removed the S tier and removed the D tier? Would that satisfy you? Because I can do that. It's like one click of a button on tier maker. You can remove the tiers, you know. So if I just had A, B, C, would that make you happy? Because I have a feeling it wouldn't. I have a feeling you just angrily comment about something else instead. Um, so that's out of the way. And now we're going to go on to the next video. So, then I also posted this video, and this was called Best Loadouts for Each Class in the Final Season 4. And this, in, in this video, I just kind of went through the best loadouts for the light, for the medium, for the heavy, and I gave a lot of option for it. So I wasn't just like, this is the best weapon, this is the best gadget, this is the best specialization for each class. I was like, well, you can probably have a good time with X, Y, Z, but having, but trying to go with Y, if, if you were trying to go with Y, then you'd want to have pretty good aim. And it would be like that for the whole video, right? It's a 23 minute long video, it's long. I explain in depth why I'm saying you should or shouldn't be using stuff, okay? And now we're going to look at some of the comments. Don't listen to this guy. Bro doesn't know what he's talking about. That's great. Maybe give me something to argue against instead of just writing that because that's not helpful for anyone. If you, like the FCAR person in the other video, tell me what I'm wrong about, then maybe it's something that we can both learn from and that the people reading the comments can also learn from instead of it just being like a mindless upvote and then that's it because that doesn't do anything. This... Even though it's liked by 24 people, this isn't helpful to anyone. That doesn't do anything. Still watching your vids, but build up... Still watching your vids to build up my resistance to arrogance. That's... <laughs> that's great. Um, that also doesn't help me with anything. That doesn't tell me what I'm wrong about. You're not making any points. You're just being like, Ah, I don't like this. Which doesn't... Literally just doesn't help anyone. I genuinely think that you do not know the matter whatsoever. Lol. I do know the meta, I've been playing this game for a long time. It might not be your fault, I just don't think you've played the game enough, I've played the game for 700 hours, or don't have a good enough understanding of it. I was in Diamond, in both the betas, in Season 1 and Season 2. So I feel like I've got a pretty good understanding of the game, all as a solo queuing player, by the way. Same with your tier list video, they are both just off. I really don't think they are. If you've got problems with a tier list video or this video, maybe write about what you don't like about it, maybe say what you think should be higher or lower in the tier list, instead of just being like, oh, I don't think you've played the game enough. I've played the game for 700 hours, 500 hours on in the regular The Finals game and 200 hours in the betas, and I've literally just been in Diamond in two of the betas and in Season 1 and Season 2. And I didn't play Season 3 because I didn't like Terminal Attack. So I've played plenty of the finals, and I've got a very good understanding of it. It's pretty difficult to get to Diamond. It takes a lot of grinding to get to Diamond as a solo queuing player. Um, and it's significantly harder to do that than it is to, obviously, trio stack to Diamond. That's going to be a lot easier than it is to solo queue to Diamond. And it takes a lot more grinding. And this is 63 likes. I just, I don't really know why. Anyway, moving on. Right, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, Yo, Swamp, nice to see you return back to the finals, but your knowledge is outdated. I don't think it is. If you think that it is, maybe, you know, throw a point in there that I can argue against instead of just being like, it's outdated. Okay, great. What What's outdated? Why don't you tell me why it's outdated or how it's outdated? And then I've got something to reply to, because right now I don't. And as a now top 500 player... So I'm just going to say something real quick here, and I don't want to rant on about this, because this happened when I tried recording this video before. I really ranted on about this. When there's, a new, when there's a new season of any game ever, when there's a new season of any competitive game ever, the ranked kind of gets switched around, right? And what a lot of competitive players do is they wait for that SR or the ranked system or whatever to settle. Because what's going to happen at the start of the season is the ranked system doesn't really know what's happening yet. It doesn't know where to place people yet. If you win, obviously you go up. If you lose, you probably go down, right? But sometimes the rank system doesn't know what's going on because it's new and people are still getting plays. So sometimes if you're a new player and you win like three games in a row, maybe you're placed in gold, right? Maybe the placement matches are, are weird and you get placed in gold even though you, you win three games. But maybe you're not actually in gold. Maybe you're in gold right now because you've got a high SR from winning three games, but maybe there weren't many, you know, gold players around then because the game was still very new and it was only out for like a week or something. Maybe not a lot of people had a lot of time to play yet. So you win three games, you get to gold, but then you get to go down to silver and then you can't get back up to gold. Well, that's because now there's a lot more players playing and the SR is now settled after a couple of weeks. And now the, now the rankings for everything are actually where they should be. 
Okay, so when the game is new, it's a lot easier to get up to a higher rank than it is when the game is, you know, kind of in progress for a couple of weeks after all of the ranked gets changes. So think about it this way. If the season goes live and you're the first person to win a game, you're officially a top one player. And that's kind of what I'm saying here. I'm not trying to disparage the fact that you're a top 500 player. That's always going to be very impressive. But it also doesn't mean a whole lot when it's towards the start of the season. You actually don't even get the top 500 player rewards unless you finish as a top 500 player. That's why you only get it when you finish and not if you're just, you know, in it at some point throughout the season, because it's significantly harder to do at the end of a season than it is at the start of a season, right? So I'm not trying to disparage being a top 500 player. Obviously, that's very impressive. And this is probably someone that has significantly better aim than me, because you probably need that to be a top 500 player. But it doesn't mean that, you know, they are actually going to be a top 500 player at the end of the season. At the end of the season, they might be in diamond, they might be in high ruby, and they might even be a top 500 player, but, you know, it's much more impressive to be a top 500 player at the end of the season than it is to be a top 500 player at the start of the season when lots of people still just aren't playing because the season is very new. So either old players that are returning to the game or just new players that have never played it before are probably going to start playing right about now and they're probably going to start putting the hours in right about now because people also have work and stuff like that. So, you know, they can only play during the weekend. And if they're better than the people that have just been playing a lot, then they're obviously going to go higher up. Because there's a difference between playing a lot and winning some, and playing a few but winning all of them, okay? I'm not going to spend too long on it, so I just wanted to say a little bit about that as well. It's much, more impressive. it's much more impressive to be top 500 at the end of the season than it is to be at the start of the season. It's just sad to see that you make these vids, play the new guns or weapon with new sights before you make a vid. I've done that. I played the DMR a lot before I made the video, both with the sights and without the sights. But I also played the Deagles a lot, um, just, well, just on their own. They don't have sights. So I played the Deagles a lot before I made the video as well. The M26 matter, I didn't play, um, but I did watch a lot of uh, streams for it. I watched a lot of gameplay for it. And I also just tried it out in the practice range a lot. And I also recommended it as one of the good weapons that you can use as a light player. Um, so I don't really know. And again, there's just nothing to argue against here. You know, they're not saying, oh, I don't think that this weapon you should be recommending. I don't think you should be recommending this weapon for X, Y, Z reasons. Uh, they're not saying that. They're just being like, I don't like this, which isn't very helpful. Right. So they say that, you know, I should play the new guns before I make a video about them, which I did do. So it's just a weird statement or just rip off someone's knowledge of the new meta. Um, I don't need to rip off anyone's knowledge. I already have a very good understanding of the game. I know what's going on with it, even if I'm not playing the game because I didn't play much during Season 3. I'm still keeping up to date with all the patch notes and all of that kind of stuff. I've got a very good understanding of the game. I've played the game a lot. I've got to diamond myself a lot of times. I don't really need to rip off someone else's knowledge. If I want to go watch the finals YouTuber, I'm going to watch a video on something that I don't know about right? Like an Easter egg or something like that. I, I wouldn't know about that, so I'd probably click on that video. But if it's something like, oh, these are the best weapons, I don't need to click on that video. I already know what the best weapons are, at least for me and for the average players, which again, that's what this video is catered towards. It's not catered towards a top 500 player, right? Because they're going to want, you know, the absolute best time to kill weapons because they're all probably going to have insane aim. But for the average player, which again is my target audience, right? It's not going to be people that are in Ruby. It's going to be people that are in like gold and diamond that want to get up to Ruby. Okay. That's, that's the target audience here. It's not a top 500 player. So maybe they don't like the fact that, you know, I say some things that maybe aren't so good at the super duper mega high levels are good weapons to use, but that's because it's for the average player. Like the Model 1887, AKM, they're both significantly easier to use than the Pike would be, for example, for the most, for most people, right? Um, but now I'm kind of repeating past points, so I don't want to talk about that a whole lot. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this is just a bit of a weird comment that really just doesn't have much truth to it at all. I mean, I don't know if this person is a top 500 player or not. They definitely could be, but again, towards the start of the season, it's much less impressive than it is um, towards the end of the season. And either way, the rest of it is just kind of weird to say regardless. Anyway, moving on. You can tell Bro hasn't used the pike yet. I have used the pike. Lol, pretty much everything you said about Light Slitter is wrong. That's great. Why don't you, you know, make some examples there instead of just saying that it's all wrong? Because that's not really helpful. 
There really isn't much of a meta, it's mainly a matter of what you want to do more damage or shoot for longer. Every gun can kill effectively, it depends on the wielder. Um, yeah, sure, there definitely is a meta though, because there are guns that are better for most people than other guns. Um, like, you know, using the AKM is generally going to give most people a better time than using the riot shield, for example. So there definitely is a meta, but it is true that everything is pretty good unless you're using the jewel blades. Uh, so for the most part, sure, but there are definitely some things that you probably want to stay away from, like the jewel blades. Bro, the pike is going to get nerfed very fast, deagle soon after. I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, Embark definitely does like to nerf things for sure, and the community definitely likes to complain about things for sure. That's kind of all this video has been, but also on Reddit and stuff. The community just likes to complain things like they don't understand. Like, last season, a lot of people thought Light was super strong still, and that's just not the case because Embark literally posted stats that was like, Heavy is the best class. Lights get used the most, but have the worst win rate or something like that. Um, so people just don't really know what they're talking about a lot of the time. Um, so if the community complains about it, it definitely might happen, but Embark is also going to have the stats, and I feel like at some point they did kind of stop nerfing stuff that wasn't as strong as people thought it were. This was a thing that used to happen a lot with, like, um, what's a good example that I can think of? They nerfed the flamethrower ages ago when people thought it used to have, like, a really, really awful blinding effect on it, which actually wasn't that bad. Um, well, it did have an initially very bad blinding effect, and then people still thought it was too much, but it wasn't too much the second time, I think. Um, people also thought that the CL40 was bad, and now it's been buffed up again. Um, and there's going to be a lot of examples. I can't think of many right now, though. But basically, people like to complain about things, and in the past, the devs kind of nerfed stuff, depending on what the community was complaining about, and I think they've kind of got rid of that. So I don't know if the pike is going to get nerfed. It might, um, but I don't think it's that strong. I think it's good and solid, but I don't think it's overpowered. That's the same with the deagles, because of the deagles, you have to aim very, very effectively for them to be worthwhile, because otherwise I can just take you out with a Model 187 and three shots, right? You can shoot at me with 14, but I can take you out comfortably in three, four, if I miss a shot, maybe, right? So... I don't think the, the deagles are going to be that good. And I'm not like, these, but just so you know, these two comments I'm not like saying are wrong. I'm, now I'm just regularly replying to some of these comments just to kind of finish the video off. And also just to, to say this as well, I made a video a long time ago entitled I Quit, and in it I put a pretty clickbaity thumbnail that was like, I, I quit. That was the thumbnail. And... People still don't like that I said that and then started making videos about the finals again, which is wild to me because a lot of YouTubers clickbait because it simply does just get more views, right? So, and I did quit. It wasn't just clickbait. I did actually quit the finals for a couple of days or for a while, actually, while Terminal Attack was active. So it wasn't even clickbait. It was like, it's a thing that I actually did. But see, and in the video, I also said... Um, something on the, along the lines of, oh, I probably don't actually quit. I might just not play for a while and then come back if they ever get rid of Terminal Attack. I would have said something very similar to that in the video. And people still don't like that I, they said that I... People still don't like that I said I quit. They're still like, oh, this is the guy that said he quits. Oh, I don't like him because he's not being honest. But if you actually watch the video in it, I say, oh, I probably don't quit. I'll probably come back at some point. And I did. Right. So I reckon that this, I'm just saying that because I reckon that this is going to be a pretty similar thing. I, people, I reckon people are going to click on this video and they're going to be like, oh, what a clickbaity thumbnail. Obviously, we're not all wrong. Well, then don't click on the video, bro. If you don't like the thumbnail, don't click on it. If you clicked on the thumbnail, it worked. Right. That's the whole point of a thumbnail. OK, so don't get mad at me. If my thumbnail worked on you, <laughs> like if you clicked on the video, it's your own fault. It's not mine, okay? So, don't get mad at me for that. And also, it's not even clickbait, because it is what I'm doing in the video. So this is basically just a huge rant. Maybe it's a little bit informational as well. Probably not, though. Um, I don't think this is going to get any views, but I just kind of wanted to showcase that, you know, sometimes people really think that they know what they're talking about, and sometimes that's very, 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 very wrong, um, as we've seen with multiple comments throughout this video. And obviously, sometimes I'm wrong as well. And that's fine.
But when I'm wrong, I never do it intentionally. I never, like, m misinform you about anything because I try to be an informational YouTuber. I never try and, you know, tell you something that isn't what I believe to be the truth. But sometimes Reddit and, uh, you know, the YouTube comments and social media likes to do that. Like, uh, let's go back to it. Like this person right here, I'm pretty sure this person knew that I didn't leave the pike in B tier. I think they're just upset about the fact that I left it in B tier. So it's like, it's just a really weird thing to be picky about, you know? Um, and it's trying to like misinform other people that maybe don't watch the video and just go down to this. Maybe it's trying to misinform them that I leave the pike at B, which I don't do. The pike's an A. Let's just go back to it. The pike's an A. Okay? So... I don't really know why I'm making this video. Um, part of it's probably just because I thought it would be like a cool, different thing to try and do. Um, it's, it's basically also just a rant. Definitely an easy video to make, but I also th thought it would be a cool idea. And it would also just show that I do read the comments. I do always read um, all of the comments and all of that kind of stuff. So, yes. Well, maybe I'll just look through another few here. Okay, we're going to do quick. We're going to do absolute quick fire. Awful take. Thanks. Why don't you tell me what you disagree with next time? What is this rank? I was in Diamond in two of the betas. I can't remember which ones. I was in Diamond in Season 1 and Season 2. I didn't play in Season 3 because I didn't like Terminal Attack. And in this season, I'm planning on getting up to Ruby. Um, but right now, I'm in Goal 3, I think. You guys just don't want to acknowledge the pike is OP. We don't want to acknowledge it because it's simply not as good as the SA1216 used to be, or as good as the FCAR used to be, and therefore I don't think it's OP or an S tier. Wrong information. FCAR kills light and heavy faster than AKM. AKM kills medium faster. So I must have been wrong about this. This is the second comment I've seen that tells me that I was actually wrong about the FCAR killing things slower than the AKM. So I was wrong about that. And I apologize for misinforming, for accidentally misinforming everyone about that, um, and now I know it's not true. So this, and the person's comment that initially told me about the FCR, this is very helpful, because I must have overlooked this in patch notes somewhere. I must not have seen the Time to Kill videos that usually pop up on, like, my shorts feed about the FCR killing things faster than the AKM. I genuinely didn't know about this, but now, because of these commenters that actually told me I'm wrong, and then also showed me why or how I'm wrong, because of that, I now know that this isn't true, and now I can share it with all of you as well. So in my tier list video, um, I probably would have said something like, the AKM is just better than the FCAR, you should probably use it. But now I know that this isn't the case. The FCAR is probably just a much more punishing weapon than the AKM, but it does kill lights and heavies faster. Okay, so now we, now we all know that. I know that, you know that, this guy told me that. Shout out to this guy for telling me I'm wrong, and why I'm wrong. This is, look, I'm gonna like this comment. I'm gonna like that. Because now I know, this is helpful. What's not helpful is being like, you're wrong, or I don't like this, or this is silly. Because that's not helpful for everyone. I can, you know what, am I going to pin this? There you go. It's pinned. Now we all know. Now we all know. Because I, I genuinely just didn't know that, and now that comment's pinned. Now, if people look down in the comments, that's the first thing they're going to see. Okay, so now, now we all know. Alright, better for us all. Shouldn't the tier list be based on 1v1 potential? And to be honest, none of the ARs have a chance in a 1v1 with the pike, especially not the AKM. Shouldn't the tier list be based on 1v1 potential? Um, no. Because if you were doing 1v1 potential, you'd end up getting, like, light versus heavy situations and heavy versus, you know, medium situations. And it's not going to be good to look at that just from the weapon stats because a light isn't going to be able to out DPS a heavy in most situations in an actual practical fight, unless they're also using something like a stun gun, or unless they also have their team distracting um, their their enemies or something like that. So I don't think so, because you get weird matchups with like light versus heavy, so obviously that will lead to different time to kills. And then you also, you know, don't get to incorporate the practicality of the weapon in an actual game. Because if we look at something like you know, the SH-1900 on the light versus a light using the M11, the SH-1900 wins every single time because it has a time to kill of zero. So, no, I don't think you, you do it based on 1v1 potential because sometimes you want to be able to kill two people with one mag. So if it's a 1v1, you, you can't kill two people, right? So I don't think so, no. 
And to be honest, none of the ARs have a chance at a 1v1 of the pike. This just isn't true. If you've got absolutely insane aim and you can hit headshots every single time with the pike, that's great. Good for you. But if you've got that same aim and you can also do it with the AKM, the AKM is also going to delete people while having more bullets in the mag, which means you can probably delete two or three people instead of just like one or two with the pike. So I, I just don't think that this is true, especially not the AKM. AKM is a very, very, very good solid weapon. And this whole video was catered towards the average player base that maybe doesn't like the pike because it's semi-auto and more difficult to use and more punishing. The AKM isn't punishing to use and it's pretty just simple and straightforward, which is why it's going to be in a higher tier. Um, that's why I put it higher up in the A tier anyway. The only thing I would switch is S tier model, 99% of the time you'll see the model in gold rank and above. This just isn't true, I'm in gold rank, it's not model 99% of the time, there's a lot of variety in there right now. Um, CL40 is there, AKM is there, SER is sometimes there, Pike is also there. There's a lot of variety for the medium right now, um, so it's just not 99% model. The model is good, but it's not S tier because it's not as strong as the SA1216. If the model was S tier it would have been nerfed a long time ago. Right, it's strong if you can hit your shots, but the reload sucks. So if you miss your shots, it's very punishing, right? So it's not an S tier. If you're new to the finals, just know that this is a If you're new to the finals, just know that this is a very arguable tier list at best. That's great. Why don't you tell these new players what you think is wrong instead of just being like, this is a bad tier list, because again, that isn't helpful for anyone. And also, this entire video, as well as my, you know, meta loadout video, is catered towards new players. That's the whole point of them. So, this is just not helpful. Riot Shield is S tier, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This is just a guy trolling, but this is like, you know, this is fine to say. It's fine to troll. Trolling is everywhere on YouTube. And this is what I would consider to be a good troll, because it's very clearly a troll. And it's just him kind of like agreeing with all of the other weird comments. So, you know, that's just a, a regular kind of, that's a classic YouTube comment right there is what I'd say. FCR, Pike, and FAMAS are all better than the AKM. Lol, your takes are bad. So I was wrong about the FCAR, um, but I do think that's still going to be more punishing than the AKM. So I do still think that AKM is going to be better for, you know, average players, which is what this video is catered towards. That's going to be the same for the Pike and the FAMAS. So... I'm not saying, my statement in this video isn't that the AKM has a higher time to kill than the pike, that's why it's first in A. That's not what the tier list is. If the tier list was based purely off of time to kills, it would have been a very different tier list. But it's a tier list based off of how accessible the weapon is for an average player, and how effectively they can consistently get kills with it. That's the video, and I would have said it if you watched it, instead of just clicking to the end of it, which is unfortunately what a lot of people probably did because it's a tier list video. I can understand it for this one, I can't really understand it for the other one, because the other one, you know, you can't really skip to the end of it. The AKM with a red dot sight on it is a ton of fun to use. Yes, it is. I very much disliked the AKM before it had red dot, now it has red dot, and it's very, very, very good. I enjoy it very much. Numbers disagree with you, and so do I. That's great. You're also just wrong, though. Let me show you why you're wrong. Right, so this, I'm probably going to be zoomed in, so you're probably not going to be able to see very much of it. Um, so this, right here, these are the best weapons in the final season four, um, is this video. And as you can see, if we look at the like rate, it's 71.8% likes. So 71.8% people that liked this video, well, that, that decided whether or not they liked this video, decided they liked it. And then the other, like, 30% basically decided that they didn't like it. Right, so you, you saying that the numbers are against me is just wrong, because 70% of people are against you, with your bad comments. I got my hopes up seeing this video, thank god I looked at the comments to save me 3702 minutes. Unfortunately for you bro, the comments are just wrong, so I'm not too sure... I mean, I, I suppose you're probably going to go in, into a game thinking that the pike is absolutely fantastic, and you're probably going to get demoted and ranked because of it unless you've got absolutely insane aim, but um, good luck to you in ranked. How are there no S's or D's? So I kind of touched on this earlier, there are no S's or D's because nothing is absolutely broken and absolutely needs a buff as soon as possible, and nothing is, you know, absolutely awful that you can never ever win a fight with in any situation. So that's why there's nothing in S or D. I like this one, this person says appreciated, and then also says, but this list is a little whack, not gonna lie. Why don't you tell me what you disagree with? So, 
There you go. I think I've kind of proven my points here a little bit, which is kind of firstly that a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about. A lot of people are very, very quick to jump to conclusions. And a lot of people like to say that I think I'm right about things I'm not right about, when in fact they're wrong. That's the end of the sentence. They're just wrong. I will admit that I was wrong about one thing, which is that the FCAR does kill lights and heavies faster, and the AKM kills mediums faster. That's something I didn't know. In the past, I, I would have said, when I made this video, I would have said something like, the FCAR just sucks, don't use it, the AKM kills everything faster, um, and that's just not true. So that's one singular thing that I would have been wrong about, um, and two people actually nicely told me that I was wrong about it, and why I was wrong about it, and now I'm able to see that I am in fact wrong about it, and now I'm admitting it, and now I'm correcting myself, and now in the future, in all of my next videos, I'll be like, hey, the FCAR kills lights and heavies faster, but if you want to kill mediums faster, then use the AKM. So now I know that. Everything else, every, literally every other comment I've seen, just doesn't, doesn't do that. So shout out to the two people that did that. This one is still pinned, still pinned and still hearted. By the time you see this video, you can probably go back and check it. It's still going to be there. I'm not going to take that down. Um, yep, I don't know how long I've been talking for now, but I'm tired. My voice hurts because I also streamed for like two and a half hours, so I'm tired of talking now. And I'm going to end the video. And I'm going to end the video. So... Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Farewell.